Freedom. We have a correspondent that wants to talk to you about something, uh, probably. So, uh, you know, go ahead and talk to him. Wait, no, don't talk to him. That would be weird. Um, listen to him. I can't believe I made it through the entire video without an elementary, my dear Watson, joke. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, to be honest. Every time I come on this channel, Anthony just jokes about my name, so... You've only been on this channel once. Still every time though, isn't it? Cheer boy, what's in it? Welcome to another tip sesh, as I like to call it. <laughs> Copyrighted. Today we are focusing on social media. And I'm not talking YouTube, alright? I'm talking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Tinder. Maybe not Tinder. Although that could work. Swipe left to subscribe. <laughs> no, you just get blocked actually, don't do that. Now it's all very well advertising yourself on YouTube with tags and, and good titles and things like that. But a lot of people don't look at YouTube for finding new content. They look at other social media platforms. For instance, Instagram. If you upload a lot of good photos, I don't know, you guys making videos and then you put in the tag, sort of hashtag YouTuber lifestyle and stuff like that, cringe. Then people will eventually pick up on these posts and they'll start finding your Instagram. And these are people that aren't even subscribed to your YouTube channel. These are new people that then start looking at your Instagram posts. And then they'll eventually see your Instagram bio and that will have your YouTube channel. So they're sort of finding you through Instagram instead of finding you through YouTube. Thus putting you out there and getting you more exposure, more advertisement for your channel. I know for example, this has happened with Facebook where people upload snippets of their um, YouTube videos but as a Facebook video and they actually get a huge following on Facebook which then transfers to YouTube views and YouTube subscribers when you then put your uh, YouTube channel either in the post so you could put a snippet of a video and then in the post be like if you want to see the full video check it out on my channel so you're sort of transferring your fans from Facebook to then YouTube. And also Facebook's really good for this because you can share videos on Facebook. It, videos tend to go more viral on Facebook than they would with YouTube. So it definitely helps with advertising. In some cases, people actually find that they were YouTubers and then they create this fan base on Facebook through people sharing their videos all the time that they eventually move cross-platform to just Facebook and they actually leave YouTube. Same with other social media platforms, like you got a lot of these fitness um, bloggers or whatever that started out on YouTube creating videos and then they moved to Instagram to make us all depressed. So that's a win-win really, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how to get a following on social media to increase your YouTube views, but you can also reverse that. I'm talking annotations. I'm talking end cards. I'm talking channel art, that was it. You know where you put your little social media in the banner at the top of your channel page? I mean, for instance, my end card is this one, right? Pretty good, right? Yeah? Well, I didn't make it. I stole it, all right? There's tons of free ones online. I think even the crib on Freedom Platform has that on their little forum thing that you can just get free end cards. So there's really no excuse, guys. You simply put all of your social media links, let's say, at the end of the video and let your fan base know that they can also keep up with your life, not just on YouTube, but also on the different social media platforms. You need to understand here, guys, that people may like a video for the content, but the reason they subscribe is because they like you. Therefore, they want to follow your life, not just through the camera lens on YouTube, but also through the different social media platforms. They wanna know what you're thinking on Twitter. They wanna know what you're posting on Instagram, things like that. It really aids you in creating this fan base. So what I would suggest is get these social media, be active on them, new posts every day. Put your YouTube in the bio or on, the, on, the, on a post or a status just so they know that they can check out your YouTube channel as well. Then advertise your social media to your current fan base on YouTube through the end cards, annotations, channel art, etc. And bam, you're one step closer to not just getting new subscribers, but getting new fans as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. Boo, that was the worst video I've ever seen. Anthony, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment now telling me that you enjoyed it, just so that I know whether you guys want more of these kinds of videos. Be sure to check out my channel in the description below. Thanks again. Peace. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to connect with us on our socials, be sure to check out, whoa, our Facebook, whoa, sh our Twitter, whoa, Facebook groups, whoa, of course, our support Twitter, whoa, and of course, the forums, whoa, I am so going to drop these. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching. Whoa!